It's a wrinkle! I look like an avocado that's been left and forgotten in the fridge! I'm ugly! Ah, come on, sire. It isn't that noticeable. Besides, it doesn't really matter how you look. It's who you are that matters most. Huh. I guess you're right, Chancellor. This plan is too perfect. Get rid of Gary. Get rid of SpongeBob. <coughs> Oops, bad timing. <coughs> uh, 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 nice snail. Good snail. Back away. I probably should have hit him with a tranquilizer dart and then bag him to King Poseidon. I am Sage, a magical tumbleweed that wanders to strangers like you. And behind those doors lies a challenge you must take if you wish to find the one you seek. Thanks for the info, Sage. Wish us the best of luck. Wait, don't go in there yet. I haven't explained the rules or the information you need to know. Oh, you're right, Sage. I mean, if we'd walk in there without knowing what to do, we'd be in big trouble. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, Eugene. Hand over the secret formula. <sighs> Here you go, Sheldon. Take care of it. Yes, finally! <laughs> Wait, you're giving it up that easily? Uh, what's the point? Me ace fry cook has bailed off on me, and now I'm running low on money. There's no point in holding on that formula anymore. Huh? Where's the glory into taking the formula if you're just gonna give it up that easily? Now remember... The lost city of Atlantic City is full of fun, amazing, and distracting things. So whatever you do, do not lose focus. Ha, ah, don't worry, Sage. We won't lose focus. We've got our eyes set on Gary and not whatever this town has to offer. <gasps> Cotton candy! Ice cream! Trolls. Wow. Patrick, we can't lose focus. Remember, we came here to find Gary. Oh, come on, buddy. They even got churros. I never had a churro before. Patrick. Fine, let's go find Gary. Now that's more like it. Hello, I'm Perch Perkins, bringing you breaking news. Lost City of Atlantic City's own sire, King Poseidon, is holding an execution ceremony for these two prisoners for pulling off an attempt to steal the sire's royal snail. Pah, <gasps> <sighs> not my problem. And for today's execution ceremony, King Poseidon is holding an opening act for Kelpie G. Oh. <gasps> Really? No, not really. We're only saying that as an excuse to make you go with Mr. Krabs and Sandy to rescue SpongeBob, Patrick, and Gary. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> keep going, Patrick. Keep on going. Oh, uh, SpongeBob, I don't think it's a good idea to gamble away our challenge coin. We might need it tomorrow. Tomorrow is for weenies! Let it ride, Patrick! Let it ride! Whoa! Whoop, 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 I think whoop, I'll whoop, hang whoop, on to whoop, this just whoop, for tomorrow. Whoop, 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 whoop. And I'm sure you can be a fine and fair king to everyone here. I know you've got it in you. Who if you just let your hair down a little? What? My hair? Wait a minute. Are you suggesting that I don't need this gorgeous mane of wavy locks? Uh... That I don't require this necklet? Ugh... Uh, 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 uh. Be gone, perfect shiny teeth! Oh. Uh... 
<laughs> this is so freeing! To heck with this chest plate and be gone! Ugh. Uh, too far? Yeah, when I said let your hair down a little, I didn't mean let it go. Oh, my bad. All right, Patrick, all we gotta do is go to the lost city of Atlantic City, find King Poseidon's palace, and rescue Gary. Yeah, let's do this. But how do we get there? I think I might just help you with that. Plankton, what are you doing here? I heard you need to get to the lost city of Atlantic City, so I'm letting you ride in with my robo-friend, Otto. All aboard. You're fired. Cool! Gee, thanks, Plankton. With this, we'll be able to get to the lost city of Atlantic City and... Wait a minute. This seems a little too well thought out for just a coincidence. What's going on here, Plankton? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here to help you with your little problem. Plankton? <sighs> okay, okay. The truth is, I took Gary to King Poseidon, and I was gonna have you two go follow him or whatever. <gasps> How could you, Plankton? Because I was tired of you always getting in the way of me stealing the formula. Well, I had to stop you from stealing the formula, Plankton, so we can keep the world safe and to protect the good name of the Krusty Krab. Yeah, yeah, as if it needs any protecting. But what does King Poseidon want with my Gare Bear? Because he said he needs skin care because he's got himself a horrible, disgusting wrinkle. Skin care, huh? Hmm. <gasps> I know just the thing. Chancellor, where's my royal snail? Uh, sorry, sire, but we're having some difficulties with it as it's trying to get away from us. But we received this in your delivery department. What's this? Anti-aging cream? Mmm. <gasps> Look at this, Chancellor. My wrinkles disappeared. Forget snail slime. Anti-aging cream is now my forever thing. Return the snails to back to where they came. Sure thing, sire. Several snail returns later. Gary! <coughs> I'm so happy to see you again. Well, looks like we got Gary back without going on a life-risking journey to King Poseidon's. Yeah, thank Neptune we didn't. Well, so much for having him go on that quest of discovery. 